Hello everybody, Izumi here, and let's do Masked Magic Caster Strikes 8-star multi-solo. So first I'm going to have Ainz, running pretty much all light gear, and of course Sorticia, because you know why not. Um, Sloth. Eve Raspy and Demiurge. All right, so here we go. All right, so Evil Eye is in the magic row, is Therian, and is grounded. Her action skill does sure shot and faint for one turn to self. 120% dark magic attack damage to the three nar nearest and the three farthest enemies. 100% um, dark magic attack damage and magic defense 20% down and petrify for three turns to all enemies. Petrify applies only to Aesir, Elves, and Beasts. Her auto skill does dark magic attack damage and dark wound for three turns to all heroes in the connect battle. On seven star, she has a chaos field and shadow bound for three turns to all enemies. And shadow bound applies only to Aesir, Elves, and Beast. On eight star, she has a high chaos field as well as shadow bound. So, um, the crystals. So the, let's see, there's force crystals and magic crystals. So the force crystals do dark attack damage and poison for three turns to the nearest enemy row. And they also ignore counter attacks. On seven star and above, they do dark attack damage and poison four times to three turns to all enemies and ignore counter attack. So the magic Crystals do defense 20% down for two turns to the front three allies, as well as skill gauge 10% up to evil eye. On eight star, they do dark magic attack damage to all enemies and frenzy for three turns to the two front allies. So that's going to be evil eye and the two crystals. And frenzy is not fun so that's the reason you have to get rid of those two two crystals um, in particular pretty quickly so stick with light damage that hits the back row to get rid of those first and then like with my party so I'm using Ainz because he's boosted I'm definitely using Demi Urge because of the boosted drops Sorticia, obviously, for the heals and everything else. Um, Sloth for the quick and the berserk, berserk. And then Christmas Raspy for the faint and the frenzy. And I had to run one piece of healing gear on Christmas Raspy because she is a little bit squishy and sometimes she dies on the last health bar. Um, usually Demi Urge and Ainz, for me, by far do the most damage. I kind of want to do the three-step again, but I don't want to risk it and get another Demi Urge. So, we'll, we'll see um, how I do on the Luckies before I go back to this one. I'm assuming it's going to be here for the most of the collab. So, um, let me see. Some other heroes you can use in this are going to be regular Sif, um, Viola. Um, well, when we get them, we're going to be able to use Shaltir. Um, definitely, if you get Albedo or the Maid Gamma, they work pretty well. Um, I tried Shining Moon Kaguya. She is about the same as... Christmas Raspy, and she, you got to run her a little bit more tankier because she will die pretty quickly. Um, 
definitely Celestia is amazing for this and Valtius as well. And looks like this is about it here. So a couple more hits, a couple more hits. Of course, it's going to limit break right at the end. Just, just to kill a couple more seconds, you know. Alright, and, you know, because this is multi-solo, we can only look at the total damage altogether. So, here we go, and thank you for watching.